Hey, hey, and welcome to this, another episode of Work Smarter, Not Harder with me, Tony Harmer. And this week, I want to do something a little bit different. I know I do an awful lot of illustrator videos and I love doing those, but there are other things as well from time to time. And this week, I want to look at something completely different. So if you're a Creative Cloud subscriber, you will be interested to know that you have Acrobat, which I'm sure you're aware of, but you also have access to some of the document cloud services that go along with Acrobat. And the one I want to look at today is Send and Track. So let's paint a little scenario first of all. What I've got here is I've got a bunch of different files associated with a project. Okay. And there's a movie file in there, and there's a PowerPoint presentation, there's a couple of InDesign files, all of those kind of things, okay? And they take quite a lot of room, so I'm not going to email them, of course. And what you'd probably do is reach out for your favorite file sharing service and so on, which you may well pay a subscription for. Well, did you know that you can actually send these files via Acrobat? It is true. I'm going to pop into Acrobat now and I've just cleared my recent files list here because what I want to do is go to the tools menu up at the top of the screen. This is where I can find my tools. You can also sometimes find it over in the sidebar just there and if it isn't there and you want it to be there you can simply go here and add that shortcut to the side. Of course mine's just saying remove because it's already there. But if I tap for send and track OK, I can then hit select files to send and I'm going to do that whole bunch of files just there. OK, so all of those files together all right, and they're added like so. And I've got two choices now. I can either send these as an anonymous link and what that will do is just give me a URL that I can just point people to and it can be shortened as well so you can send it to people and they can just download that. The basic usage information you get there is essentially how many times it's been downloaded. But if it's important that you see when somebody's actually seen the files and when they've actually downloaded them, you can use this personalized invitations option in which you can enter all the addresses you need and your own personalized message there. You can even determine the experience they get when they get to their recipient page. So you'll see here that uh, if I can go across to that and on document cloud I can actually change my logo and color associated with that. I'm going to use the anonymous link method here. So if I just choose now to create a link then the files will be uploaded to Document Cloud. Now it depends on the speed of your internet connection and the number of files that you're sending on how quickly these get uploaded. But of course, you're not tied to that. So you can either be getting on with something else or maybe chance for a coffee break while that's going on. It is pretty quick, however. And there we go. Once that's done, I can then choose to email the link or copy the link to my clipboard. But now I've done that, I will close that out. I can see what's been shared by going to my home tab in Acrobat and tapping sent just here and you can see there are the shared files and it's an anonymous link. If it wasn't it would have the name of the recipient or recipients in that area just there. Okay and I could get extra information about that by clicking on it and then choosing track online and I'd see the usage from there. In fact, while I'm in here, I might also look at managing the files because I can unshare them at any time that will remove the link. I can forward them to somebody else and I can remove them. So managing them is actually really easy. So let's switch out to a browser and see how this looks for someone who's clicked on the link. OK, so in the browser just here, you can see who sent them, when they were sent by and you can see all of the files associated with that. So you can see there's a PowerPoint there, there's a text file, Word file, Photoshop file, a couple of InDesign files there, uh, an MP4 file just there, and then this bunch of Illustrator files. If I want to better look at any of these things, I can just click on them like so, and I can preview that one there, for example, inside this window. If I just go back, 
if I just click on maybe this PSD file, I can see the PSD. So if I want to get rid of the bar on the side, I can click here like so, and that disappears. And if I go back, and I can see that, and I could download that file in isolation. Or if I want to download everything, I can just hit the download all button just there. And that's how you can work smarter and not harder just with using one feature of Acrobat. And there'll be more useful ones over the coming weeks as well. So that's it. We're done for now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Reach out to me via Twitter. Follow my Facebook page. Those details are coming along in just a moment. Do keep on watching. And until next time, see ya.